This city is exciting. Dangerous. Troubled. That woman's not wearing underwear. Is that all you can think about? Food and sex? Yes. Please, focus. Look out! No time for small talk, we're late. Petty, hold the elevator. Petty. I think Louise is so sweet. I think this woman is wearing underwear. I think there's too many people in this elevator. And I think you are all idiots. That's gonna work. Herman, can you do something about that violin? Give it a sec. How's that? Herman, don't get me started. Come on, we got time. No, we don't. I'm late for work. What happened to my shirt? Don't you remember? We tore it in half and used it to tie me to the shower curtain rod. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I have to go home and change. I don't have time to go home and change. Why don't you just wear what you wore yesterday? Because yesterday I was wearing what I wore yesterday. Besides, I need my bathroom. What's wrong with mine? No offense, Herman, but I've seen cleaner bathrooms at Yankee Stadium. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. Herman, I'm tired of living out of a suitcase. I feel like I'm on the road all the time. All right, then. From now on, we won't tour. We'll just record. <laughs> you know what I mean. We need to consolidate. You mean move in together? Well, I don't see any other way, do you? We can't let her move in. Why not? We love Elizabeth. It's time to move up to the next level of our relationship. Move in together? I've never lived with anyone before except my college roommate. Well, it's just like that. Only we sleep in the same bed and I have breasts. I don't know. You're right. It's a stupid idea. I'm sorry I brought it up. No, no, I just mean I'd like some time to think it through. There's nothing to think through. Obviously, moving in together scares you. You're not ready for it. Come on, now you're angry. I'm not angry. Okay, then kiss me right now. I don't want to kiss you right now. See, you are angry. I'm not angry. I'm late. She is not angry. Like hell, I'm not. <laughs> Well, if you move in with Elizabeth, you might as well kiss all your most cherished freedoms goodbye. Jay, you make it sound like prison. Yeah, it's worse. At least in prison you learn a trade. Ooh, how exciting. I've always wondered what it would be like to live with someone. I'm just thinking about it. I wish I'd live with someone before I got married. Take the car for a test drive, that sort of thing. But no, I had to buy the damn car. Going hawk up to my ears for it and watch the engine explode in the middle of nowhere. I know I'll never live with someone again. Why? What happened? Ah, the usual. It started off wonderfully, but soon the love faded and we settled into a routine. Slowly we grew apart and eventually we ended up with nothing in common. I gave that man the best three days of my life. <laughs> Who was this guy? Oh, I can't tell you his name. Why? Is he famous? No, I just forgot it. <laughs> so, Herman, are you going to do it? Are you and Elizabeth going to move in together? Are you, are you, are you? <laughs> Louise, you're more excited about this than I am. Well, Herman, I just think the two of you are so great together. You compliment each other so well. And if you live together, you won't have to live alone anymore. She'll always be there for you. She'll be there to, to laugh with, go to movies with share romantic candlelight dinners with, make love with, <laughs> you're going to be so happy. It's going to be all right, Louise. <laughs> Louise is right. I say we make the decision to share our life with a woman we love. I agree. The thought of losing Elizabeth is far more frightening than the idea of living with her. I know women. They can be pretty unreasonable. I get the feeling the first time we bring home a date, they're only hell to pay. <laughs> So 
So we're going to do it. We're going to live with Elizabeth. Herman, I'm sorry for leaving your apartment the way I did this morning. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about that. It wasn't fair to you, and it was totally the wrong way to end a night of really fantastic sex. <laughs> fantastic sex? I thought you were sleeping with Herman. Why don't we talk about this somewhere else? Elizabeth, I've decided you're right. We should move in together. Herman, you don't have to say that just No, I'm not. I'm not. It'll be more convenient. Convenient? That's a reason to rent the apartment above a 7-Eleven, not move in together. I was hoping we had something stronger than convenient. Elizabeth, I think you know how I feel about you. Well, it wouldn't hurt to hear. It's time to say it. Absolutely. It's all we've been thinking about, and we'd have to say it eventually, so why not say it now? You're talking about telling Elizabeth you want to sleep with her and her friend Jennifer, aren't you? Isn't that what we're talking about? We're talking about saying I love you. What if we say we love her, but she doesn't say it back? You have to take that chance. Elizabeth, I want to be with you, and I think we should move in together because I love you. Herman, I'm so excited. <laughs> and? And we'll do it this weekend. And? And it'll make our lives easier. And? All right, I love you too, but it took you long enough to say it. I figure I owed you. <laughs> So, so maybe this weekend we can move some of your stuff into my place. Maybe we'll Your do... place? Yeah. I think it would make a lot more sense if we moved into my place. Yeah, but my place is, is student living at its most charming. <laughs> we can't move into her place. Why not? Because it's her place. I mean, did Adam move in with Eve? No. Why? Why? Because it was his place. He was there first. Did Romeo move in with Juliet? No! Why? Because they both killed themselves! <laughs> Did Wilbur move in with Mr. Ed? No! Why? Because he was a horse. <laughs> no! Because he was just like Elizabeth. He talked too much. Yakety, yakety, yak! Hey, Wilbur, turn on the TV! Hey, Wilbur, let's get some fillies! Hey, Wilbur, let's go surfing! <laughs> So, what's it going to be, Herman? My spacious two-bedroom loft off Washington Square Park, or your claustrophobic studio apartment next to the crack house on Amsterdam Avenue? We'd be able to score it all hours of the night. Herman. Okay. I'll bring my stuff over this weekend. Oh, this will be great. You'll see. And my walls are thicker than yours, so we won't have to make love like church mice. <laughs> how big this place is. We're going to be very happy here. Herman, I love you. I love you, too. Mm. You're not going to put that there, are you? Well, what's wrong with it? Nothing. Good. Besides the fact that it's quite possibly the ugliest thing I've ever laid eyes on. <laughs> you never saw my father's golf pants. Herman, I really think there's plenty of light in this room already. Whoa, hold on there. Hold on there, partner. What's that? The Wolfman. What? My Wolfman model? I made it when I was seven. I like keeping it around. It's sort of fun. Define fun. <laughs> Elizabeth, if I'm going to move in with you, you're going to have to let me bring some of my things with me. Well, this is my place. I'm sorry, Herman. It's our place now. Uh, there. It's sort of fun. Thank you. Now, where can we hang my model airplanes? <laughs> Very funny. Where do you want this box of model airplanes? Over there. Herm? Over there, Jay. Jay, don't you think it's about time we called a truce? No. Good. Neither do I. Let me know when he's gone. Thanks for helping me out, Jack. No problem. I'm just glad you decided to hang on to your apartment just in case this little experiment in terror doesn't work out. Hang on to your apartment? Uh-oh. This wasn't the way we wanted to tell her. Time to dance. The decision to move is a multifaceted one. I just felt that when someone moves from a place where he's from to, to a, a place where he's going, that he has to be aware of his place. To and fro. <laughs> Guys, a little help here! So, oh boy, 
is it hot? I think I'll open a window. Herman. I just thought I'd keep my place for a little while, at least until we're Until sure. this relationship fails? No, that is not what I was going to say. No, but it's obviously what you're thinking. Otherwise, you wouldn't feel the need to hang on to your apartment. Come on, Elizabeth. Think about it. I mean, just for the sake of argument, what would happen if we broke up? Well, we're not going to break up. That's easy for you to say. You have a place to live. But this is our place now. Look. The Wolfman! Don't mock the Wolfman. I don't feel comfortable entering into this without you fully committed. Then what are we gonna do? That depends. Are you gonna give up your apartment? No. Then I don't see how this is gonna work out. But neither do I. Herman, wait. Take the Wolfman with you. <laughs> This is more like it. I'm glad moving in with Elizabeth didn't work out. I say, starting tonight, we sleep with a different woman every night. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. It's unanimous. <laughs> Someone please shut him up. Oh, poor baby. Are you sad because we can't have Miss Smarty Pants? <laughs> hey, we all feel badly about walking out on Elizabeth. Well, we showed her. We're the man, and a man is king of his castle. And now we're back in our castle. <laughs> Can I come in? Make yourself comfortable. Herman, I feel terrible about what happened this afternoon. But we learned a very important lesson that you and I can't possibly live together because my lamp doesn't go with your rug. Look, we can argue about it all day if you want, or we can wipe the slate clean and try this again. What do you say? Here we go again. Wilbur do this! Wilbur do this! Look, she came over here to apologize, and that counts for a lot in my book. I say we forgive and forget. I say we don't. I don't trust her. She's too complicated. I say we do. After all, she's read Gravity's Rainbow. If I remember correctly, that's the book you couldn't understand and gave up on after 30 pages? <laughs> well, yes. Don't bring that up again. <laughs> I guess living together deserves a full 24 hours before we officially declare it a disaster. That's the spirit. <laughs> I can't believe how late it is. Herman, how could I have overslept like that? You didn't oversleep. It's 9.15. I'm supposed to be at work at 9 o'clock. It's really only 8.15. I set the bedroom clock an hour fast, so I have plenty of time to get ready in the morning. You couldn't have told me this. Don't be mad. What's that? That's your short story. I read it last night when I couldn't sleep. You read my story? I, I wish you would have asked me first. I'm sorry. It was just sitting out on the table. Yeah, well, so, what'd you think? It was sort of interesting. I'd better start getting ready for work. The ringing endorsement? Sort of interesting, the New York Times. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Herman, you have left enough hair on that bathroom floor to weave a rug. So I'll get a broom. A broom? You're going to need a leaf blower. Look, a little hair on the floor is nothing compared to your smoking. Are you saying that I smoke too much? I'm saying you could cure bacon in there. A little help here? Oh, what's wrong with you now? She didn't like my short story. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just used to being the only one living here. It's okay. I'm still getting used to it, too. Hey, you know what we should do? I know exactly what we should do. <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines of a housewarming party to celebrate our moving in together. Good idea. I'll rent a leaf blower to take care of the hair in the bathroom. And I'll call the fire department to deal with the smoke in the bedroom. <laughs> now, <clears throat> back to my idea. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Please, not in front of the wolf man. Brack, do you have a minute? Yes, I'll hold. What is it, Herman? Well, sir, 
Elizabeth and I just moved in together, and it's it's a little rough going right now. I thought since you were married for 25 years, you might be able to give me some advice. Get everything in writing now, get a good attorney, and get an accountant with a knack for hiding income. What, what I meant was, what did you and your wife do to work out all your differences? Filed for divorce. Maybe this isn't the best time to bother you with this, Mr. Brackett. I'm, I'm sorry, Herman. What exactly is your problem? Well, sir, Elizabeth and I are really in love, and the sex is great, but everything between us seems to be an argument. I don't know what to do. Herman, relationships are very tricky. <laughs> and? That's about it. <laughs> uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I'm right in the middle of countersuing my wife. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Mm. That wasn't much help. Oh, forget about Mr. Bracken. Advice is cheap. You have to stop taking everybody's advice. Now, here's my advice. I believe you have to listen to your own heart and be honest with yourselves. It seems to me that if you want a good relationship, you have to do whatever you can to make it work. Relationships can work. I don't believe it. The bitch got the car. <laughs> This is a complete disaster. That's because your friends haven't said a word to my friends. Well, they're a little hard to get to know. Let's see if we can get the two groups talking. So, is everyone having a good time so far? I've never seen such rude, self-satisfied, arrogant snobs before in my life. I don't understand it. I should fit right in. <laughs> this is quite possibly the best party I've ever been to. <laughs> I know it's painful, but can we try to mingle a little? I need a drink. You need some new friends is what you need. Oh, what is your problem? Come on, the people you invited. It's like a convention of French waiters. But come on, you guys. I think we owe it to Herman to try and make this thing work out. After all, it is a housewarming. Louise, I cannot speak to these people. Yes, you can. Come on, Mr. Bracken, let's go. No way, Louise. Hetty, you speak snob. <laughs> Bite me, Louise. There you go, now you're talking. Come on, let's go mingle. Hi, I'm Louise Fitzer, and this is Her Herman and Elizabeth's couch. Mm, nice to meet you. You, I'm not so sure about. <laughs> Great, now we're out of wine. Why don't I just run down to the store and get some? Oh, nice try. Everybody, conga! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> well, traditionally, this is a group dance. Conga! Dun, 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 if I pay you, will you stop? <laughs> hey, leave her alone. She's trying to be nice. Herman, please. No, you know, every time you're around, you insult me. You insult my friends. Why don't you just take off? Herman, Sean is my friend. You can't just tell him to leave my apartment. So now we're back to it being your apartment when everything's okay. It's our apartment. But as soon as there's a disagreement, it's your apartment. There are people around. Yeah, I know. And one of them is a pompous ass. Now, is he leaving or am I? Maybe you should just go someplace and cool off. Fine. Hey, Jay, thanks for coming in and helping me move out. Glad to, Herm. In fact, you have no idea how much this means to me. Where is the amazing bummer, anyway? <laughs> she went out early this morning. She thought this would be easier if she wasn't around. Everything is easier when she's not around. <laughs> Jay, careful. Elizabeth and I are just moving back to separate places. We're not breaking up. We still want this to work out between us. No, you don't. <laughs> this yours, Herm? No, it's Elizabeth's. You want it? <laughs> Jay, can I have it? Jay, please, can we just collect my stuff and get out? Oh, go ahead. Take your best shot. Jay, could you leave us alone for a minute? Okay. I'll see you downstairs, sir. What are you doing back so soon? 
I wanted to talk. Remember what you said one time about being willing to stick it out as long as I was willing? Yeah. I don't know if I'm willing anymore. What are you saying? Well, after all the fighting, I'm not sure that I feel the same way about you that I did. And I sure as hell can't be your idea of a dream companion anymore. Well, to tell you the truth, I was sort of hoping we could hang on to the great sex part without hanging on to the driving each other crazy part. I don't see how. No, it's easy. Here's what we do. Okay. We let X equal the great sex part. We let Y equal the driving each other crazy part. We subtract the Y from this part. We add another X. That eliminates the driving each other crazy part and doubles the great sex part. <laughs> See me after class. <laughs> We just don't seem to fit into each other's worlds, and we've pretty much proven that we can't live together, so... I guess it shouldn't be this hard, should it? Look, you feel free to stay here as long as you need to until you find a new place to live. I already have a new place. I sort of hung on to my old place. Good move, Slim. I gotta go. Elizabeth, wait. Please, let's not make this hard, too. What are you doing? I'm not giving up. I feel so close to her when she's vulnerable like this. No, it's too late. Guess you better be going now. Just pull the door closed when you leave. Tomorrow, Bruce Willis stars in the original Die Hard on Fox Night at the Movies. Hi, Dave McCall from WPRRFM here. Flying Blind, followed by Whoop, up next on Fox TV 8. Is planning to teach him the facts of life on an all-new Martin, Thursday after The Simpsons. Now, stay tuned for Flying Blind.